In this video, I'll walk you through how to create a great looking contact form for your WordPress website. We'll cover it step by step and we'll do it all without writing any code. To get started, let's go ahead and head over to our website. We want to log into the WordPress dashboard. So add admin to the end of your website. It'll bring you to your login screen where you can log in. Great, now that we've logged into our site, we need to install and activate a plugin. So let's go ahead over to our plugins area and click Add New. From the repository of all the plugins available for WordPress, we're looking for WP Forms. And this is the one we want, so we'll install that now. So we're going to activate that as well. All right, now that it's activated, you see this area over here for WP Forms. We're going to create a new form. I'm going to go to add new and here's the WP forms dashboard. Most of the stuff we need is right here. We can select a template. You can start from scratch and add the fields as you want. You even have a suggestion form. We're going to use a simple contact form. And if you wanted to upgrade, you see down here, you can also create donation form, request a quote, you can do some billing or order forms that gets more into e-commerce, the newsletter sign up form that will tie into your email subscription software. But first we'll just do a simple contact form and we can click on the name to name it. You can add a description if you need. That's mainly for you. You can even add some specific CSS for the form. Change the submit button text. Down here you want to make sure that that is enable to keep spam from getting into your inbox. So we're good with the general settings. We'll get back to notifications and confirmation in a minute. So I'm going to get back to the fields area or on the right. This is what it looks like right now. Over here, if you needed to add more fields, you can just click on that and it'll bring it down here under the last box. And then you can click to drag them wherever you want it to go. Just like that. I'm going to remove that. From here, you can adjust the form fields. You can adjust the format of each field and you can choose whether or not to make them required. I'm going to go through and adjust mine how I want it to look and you can do the same for yours. So the next thing we want to make sure is let's look at the settings and under notification. We definitely want the notifications on because we do want to get an email when somebody emails us. And by default, it'll bring in your admin email of your website, but you can actually put in something specific right there. This is what every email that comes from this contact form will say in the email subject line when it comes to you. And then this is pulling in from the field on the form. This is also pulling in from the field on their form. And then this brings in all their data as well. So the notifications look good. Now let's go to confirmation. And this is the confirmation message that they'll receive on the page once they submit it. If you want to be more specific, you can choose to send them to a particular page, say your thank you page on your site. You can choose that here. Or if you want to send them to another web address, choose the URL, enter the web address that you want to send them to. And then once they click submit, then they'll be taken to those different pages. All right now our contact form is set up how we want it to look. So I'm going to save everything. And now we need to actually put it on our website. I'm going to use a page. So I'm going to go to my all my pages. And we have a contact us page. So I'm going to edit that because that's where I want to put the form. Under my information up there, I'm just going to get on a new line. And you see here, we now have an add form button. So I'm going to click on that. And you, if you have multiple forms, you can choose from them here. We only have this one, so we'll do that. You can choose to show the form title or the form description. Since we have the page name right there, we don't need any of that. When it inserts it, you'll see this short code. That's just an easy way for WordPress to show the form for you. So you don't want to mess with that. Once we're done, let's click update, or if it's a new page that you're creating, click publish. And now let's see what it looks like. 
Now, some people like to add the form on their sidebar area, and I'll show you really quickly how you can do that as well. With WP Forms, you can go into your Appearance Widgets area. The sidebar usually has a widget area like you see here. And we'll scroll down because we're actually looking for the WP Forms widget. So we'll left click, drag that up to the top, and now I'll release that. And you can choose again here what all to show. And we'll click Save. And now if somebody's scrolling through your blog and you have your sidebar area, then that will show on the sidebar.